Hi, I'm David, and this is the Biology Classroom. In today's video, let's talk about systematic error and random error. In general, experimental errors are categorized as systematic and random errors. Systematic error results from a persistent issue and leads to a consistent error in your measurements. This means that the error occurs every time the same way when you are carrying out the experiment. Systematic errors usually come from measuring instruments. Maybe there's something wrong with the instrument or its data handling system. Or maybe the instrument is wrongly used by the experimenter. For example, a weighing scale that cannot be zero, an eyepiece reticle that is wrongly calibrated, and a ruler that has a wrong scale. The accuracy of measurements is often reduced by systematic errors. Accuracy is how close the measurement is to the actual value of the quantity being measured. These errors do not affect reliability since they always occur the same way. For example, using a weighing scale that is always 0.1 gram heavier than it should be does not give an accurate measurement. But the mean calculated from these results is reliable because it is consistently 0.1 gram heavier. Repeating the experiment does not reduce the effect of systematic error, since the error always occurs no matter how many replicates you make. You must change the setup or the instruments causing the error to improve the accuracy. Random errors are errors that fluctuate due to the unpredictability or uncertainty in your measuring process. These changes may occur in the measuring instruments or in the environmental conditions. For example, reaction time when you stop a timer, parallax error when using a measuring cylinder if you always read from different positions, and the fluctuations of temperature during an enzymatic reaction if it is not being controlled. The data collected may shift in each measurement from its true value by a random amount and in a random direction. For example, when you are using a stopwatch to measure the time taken for a reaction to complete, you might stop the timer a little bit too fast or too slow. The data collected is inconsistent as it can be too long or too short to different extents. This reduces the reliability of the results. The effect of random errors can be minimized by having more replicates to calculate the mean. The larger the sample size, the more reliable the mean would be. If you think my videos are useful, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Do share it with your friends as well. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me at the comment section. Thank you for watching and see you again soon.